Are you done? I'm hungry. I want to eat. <laughs> I'm going to get angry. Watch out. He's just trying to bug me. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to today's video. That is not how I talk. Oh no, you talk like this way. You talk like... You don't know how to do it. You're like, you're a very liar like... Wow. We're gonna taste some <laughs> sweet chicken today. <laughs> I feel... No way. Yeah. Take two. Wow. Ah, <laughs> uh, I feel sweet today. <laughs> so today we're gonna taste... <laughs> okay, get off. I'm hungry. Go away. He is such a brat. So... <laughs> Hi guys, today I am taste test regime. Shake Shack has a brand new hot honey menu. Now, if you haven't had hot honey, it is basically spicy honey and it's delicious. I've had it on chicken before, but not from Shake Shack. They have three new items. It is a hot honey chicken sandwich, hot honey chicken bites, and hot honey fries. I got all three, of course. I'm gonna taste test all of them, tell you my honest opinion, and rate them from one to 10. So stay tuned. Let's see if this new menu is worth eating, and buying, and digesting. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Okay, so we have a box. These are the hot honey fries. They look like fries. I think that they have toppings that come separately. So let's see. Okay, we have some sauce here a tiny bit and um some more sauce you know what pause i have to look up the info and see exactly what these fries are because i'm just kind of confused this is from shake shack's website the hot honey fries are crispy crinkle cuts dusted with our hot honey seasoning served with our habanero mayo sauce okay so these are dusted with hot honey seasoning i don't smell it but we have the mayo here and then we have the hot honey chicken bites. Ooh, those look good. Crispy whole white meat chicken bites dusted with our hot honey seasoning served with our habanero mayo sauce. So one of these is for the chicken. And then last but not least, we have the hot honey chicken sandwich. That's quite a small sandwich. Well, okay, it's like thick, but like the bun feels small. Ooh, it smells great. Honey glazed crispy chicken breast topped with our habanero mayo sauce and shredded lettuce on a toasted potato bun, our real white meat chicken is fresh, never frozen, hand breaded, and cooked to order every time with no antibiotics ever. Love that. Um, so everything looks pretty good, but the fries seem to be quite plain, but let's hope they have flavor. Now the prices. The hot honey chicken bites were $8.45 for a 10 piece. Um, these are Uber Eats prices, so they could be different in person. Um, the hot honey fries were $4.39, and the hot honey chicken sandwich was $8.45. Okay, a little on the pricey end, kind of like Chick-fil-A type prices. First things first, let's get that thumbnail. And guys, this is how I prep thumbnails. I always take the lids off so they don't get in the way of the food in the photo. So I just cut that off quickly, and let's do the fries too. Okay, my leg has got a workout. I was like crouching. <laughs> Let's first try the fries. Like I said, it does not look like they've been dusted with the hot honey powder, but they might be. It might just be kind of like clear. Let's try it first without the habanero mayo and then with the habanero mayo. Hmm. They taste like extra salty fries. They're great fries, let me just say that. But I don't taste any hot honey flavors. I'm almost 100% sure that they forgot the hot honey powder, which is not a huge deal. It does affect this taste test because I can't truly judge the fries. But let me just say, these fries are amazing. They're very salted in a good way, like perfectly salted. They're crispy on the outside, fluffy on the inside. Honestly, a perfect crinkle cut fry. Like, just flawless. So I could just imagine with the hot honey powder. Do you think they gave it to me somewhere? Is there like a packet of something? No. I can just imagine with the hot honey powder, I bet they're just like incredible. Mmm. Let's try the fries with the habanero mayo. Oh wow. I was not expecting that. Very interesting. 
Not what I expected. It's a little spicy. Nothing crazy. Very creamy. Um, it has a very odd flavor. It tastes a bit fruity, but also a bit floral. I'm confused. I've had this flavor before, but I don't know what it is. You know what it kind of tastes like? Like a candied orange or a candied lime or like lemon. It tastes like a candied citrus something with creaminess and spice. It's very weird. I kind of like it, but I'm also kind of like, what? I'm going to give it an eight. I don't love it, but it's something so different that I really commend them for trying, trying a whole new flavor. It's very odd. Um, and the fries, even though they are missing the seasoning, they're a 10 out of 10, just perfect fries. Okay, so let's try the hot honey chicken bites now. I'm gonna first try by itself and then with the um, sauce. Mm. Oh my God. The hot honey flavor. Wow. I wish the fries had that seasoning. Wow. Regime. That hot honey seasoning is so good. It's a tiny bit spicy, sweet, but it doesn't take over the chicken. It still tastes like a delicious, like fried chicken tender type thing, you know? But with a bam of sweet and smoky. Mm. I'm gonna try it with the um, habanero mayo. It's so peculiar. I can't get over it. Um, I like the mayo better with the fries. I don't think that the bites need it. And I don't think that they go with it that well, to be honest. These are already kind of sweet. And so it's like sweetness with like this like weird fruity sweetness that this has. It's just too much sweetness, I feel. But damn, these by themselves are delicious. Just such amazing flavor. These are a 10 out of 10. Mmm. Okay, give me a fry too. Mmm. Well, last but not least, let's try the hot honey chicken sandwich. So it has the mayo on it. It has some lettuce. All the mayo is on one side of it. So I'm going to first take a bite from this side without the mayo and then with the mayo. Okay. Mmm. So the chicken's good quality. Um, I can't really taste the hot honey, to be honest. I taste sweetness, but I just don't taste the smokiness. I think that the issue is the bread is very sweet. And I always say that sweet buns do not go well with chicken sandwiches. They just do not. This is a sweet bun. So Chicken doesn't have as much flavor as beef. So when the bun is very sweet or flavorful, it like really takes over in a chicken sandwich. It just does. But let's try a section with the mayo. Oh, yeah, I don't know if I like the mayo. I don't know. <laughs> I think I, oh, the mayo is really weird. It's so weird. I think that the mayo only goes well with the fries. I don't think it goes well with chicken at all. It's just the flavor just clashes. It's too sweet. And what is that flavor? Like I've had, you know what it kind of tastes like? It kind of tastes like fruit cake. Have you guys had fruit cake? I don't like fruit cake. It tastes like fruit cake, but turned into a sauce. <laughs> I don't know how that works, but it just tastes like it to me. So that's interesting. The chicken's great quality and has great flavor, but in a sandwich, I don't think that it works that well. So I'm gonna give this sandwich a six and the fries were a 10 and the chicken bites were a 10 without the sauce. So overall, I think it's a success. Let's try Shake Shack. You know how to do it. Are you guys gonna try Shake Shack's new hot honey menu? If you do, let me know your thoughts, especially on this sauce. It's so interesting. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you hot honey queens next video. <laughs> oh, oh, oh.